It's time to address Jack Stoof's 48 emails that Carl Summers released in the Kraken lawsuit. There are glaringly obvious timeline problems in the estate's presentation. I'm hearing that the estate's position is now that Jack found the chest in 2019. Why would Carl Summers release an email from June 5th of 2020 when the estate's position is that Jack actually found the chest in 2019? The entire narrative doesn't make sense on any level. Even if you believe Jack found the chest in 2019, but waited to retrieve it till June 5th of 2020. The problem is this, Pam Shetterin, got pieces of the Medium article, seven months before Jack sent Forrest that email, on June 5th of 2020. So, you have to say, all of the emails between Forrest and Jack are scripted, you can't pick and choose. The Nookers are claiming Jack found it in 2019, but waited to claim it till 2020. That argument doesn't hold any water, because Forrest had pieces of the Medium article, in 2019. Jack was sending Forrest emails, to create a fake timeline, a timeline that Forrest was play-acting along with. The entire thing is a sham production, that the FBI should be investigating. Let's not forget, that Dal Neitzel, got an email from Forrest on December 7th of 2019, that said, I will cause the treasure chest, to be photographed in situ and then retrieved. What's even worse, is if you read through Daniel Barbarisi's book, you'll find that it is part of this page sham production. Barbarisi says that the first email he received from Jack, came from an email address, whose name referred to the Forest Fen Treasure. If you look on forestfentreasure.com, you'll see that the people behind the site, knew the contents of Barbarisi's book, one year before the publication date. The words, fake man, appear on the auction site, Jack is that fake man, lo and behold, that same thing, appears in Barbarizzi's book, Chasing the Thrill, Douglas Preston's name, also appears on that same page, in Barbarizzi's book, and on the auction website it says, when Doug enters the room, we begin to sweat, more than likely Doug knew Barbarizzi, both of them are from Massachusetts, Daniel Barbarizzi probably knew Jack Stoof, prior to the find. If you go to the Authors Guild page, you'll see a disclaimer, by Douglas Preston, that says, show your support for the finder, and other authors of fiction. Let's have a look at the absurd, and absolutely ludicrous email, that Jack Stoof supposedly wrote Forrest Fenn, on June 5th. Jack says, Forrest, I have found some of your property, the treasure chest, and its contents, described and pictured in your 2010 book, The Thrill of the Chase. Though there seems to be some discrepancy, between what you in the past have said is in the chest, and what is in there now, the chest and items match the book's photos, as this is your property. Not mine, I would not want to move it, without your explicit permission, so I covered it back up, and left it where I found it. When I located it, I took some photos of the chest in situ, and after I opened the lid, I am willing to send you these photos for verification, but I ask that when you see them, you do not immediately announce the treasure has been found, I'm aware that over the years, you have intimated, that you may like to give these items, to the person who found it, if that is the case with me, I would be happy to receive them, but I think it would be prudent, that I first return your treasure to you, so you can fully verify, that it belongs to you, at that time, you can make your decision, on whether to keep it all, give it to me, subtract or add items, or whatever else you may decide. If you would like to give it to me, a gift deed could be drawn up, listing all the items. If you do not wish to give it to me, that is your right, as there exists no applicable rules, or implied contract between us, and I would be happy just to meet you. Please reply if you agree with this proposal, and I will send back the photos. If you view the photos, and believe this is your property, I can go back and retrieve it for you, if that is your desire, and bring it to your home, at no charge. If you disagree with what I've said here, and would like to discuss more, please give me a call rather than emailing, yours. Jack Stoof, this email reads like Forrest Fenn wrote it himself, more than likely Forrest logged into jackstoof at gmail.com, and sent himself this laughable ridiculous email. So uh, yes, I, I do know about that website that uh, Kenny's referring to now that I understand, and uh, yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I don't put any credence in that either but are you aware of anyone else that knows the location maybe his, I, guess I mean there are other people who know the location now um you know they are all either very close to jack or close to fen 
close to Finn, who were close to Finn. I mean, close to Jack would be a good way to say it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. actually did not understand the question you were asking a couple minutes ago. I don't know actually if other people close to Jack know for sure where it is. I know like where the you know, I know that they were looking where that he knew generally where they were looking, but that doesn't mean I know where like they where he was actually going. So nope. I don't want to like step out of turn there. I didn't quite understand what you were asking there. Um, nope. So I'm not exactly sure about that part. How did you convince him to give you a contract without a find? Well, because it wasn't about that. It wasn't about who finds the treasure, frankly. Forrest Fenn was well aware of Daniel Barbarizzi's book project. In late August 2020, he said, I thought all the hoopla would die down. This was only two weeks before his death. It's obvious he was referring to the words behind Barbarisi in this picture. 